In this video, I'm gonna show you four simple things you can do right now to improve your ankle mobility. Ankle mobility is really important, or really ankle range of motion. Uh, if you wanna do any functional activity without making a compensation around that, if you don't have normal ankle range of motion, you'll make changes in your knee, your hip, and your back in order to get around that lack of ankle mobility. So it's really important to have that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is soft tissue work on the muscles in the back of the leg, your calves. So, if you have um, at home, these double lacrosse balls, we use them in the clinic a lot. If you got a foam roll, if you don't got that, if you got a water bottle, something that you can use to deflect tissue in the back of the calf, it's gonna help make your mobility work that much more successful. So all you're gonna do is put whatever you've got on the back side of your calf. So calf's this big muscle here, your Achilles tendon attaches into your calcaneus down there. So down there, if you can get pressure on top of that calf and just kind of move your foot back and forth along this anterior posterior axis, then that is gonna help break up inflammation scar tissue that develops in the calf over time from old injuries, but just normal, regular wear and tear type stuff. So find different spots on that lacrosse ball or that foam roller that you can use to try to break up inflammation. If you're feeling um, discomfort or a little pressure, that's okay. Um, you wanna try to hang out in that area. So from here, like right here, that feels like that area needs to be kind of worked on. So I'm gonna put pressure with my other leg on top of that and then just go into plantar flexion and dorsiflexion, bring your toes up and down to kind of break up inflammation and scar tissue that's developed in that soft tissue. So about two minutes here, finding a bunch of different spots on the back side of the calf and then of course doing both sides of that. So that's soft tissue work to work on the muscle if there's a muscular restriction in the back of the calf that might be restricting your ankle dorsiflexion. The other thing you're gonna do, and the next thing you're gonna do, is more stretching and joint mobilization. So if you don't have normal ankle dorsiflexion, it's usually from one of two areas. Either the joints in your foot are not moving properly, or the muscle in the back of the leg, the calf, is too short, and that's restricting the ability for the toes to come up towards your nose. So one that I'm sure a lot of you have seen before is just a very standard gas rock stretch. So standing, you can use a table against the wall. You can even do it just standing if you don't have anything around you. But from here, you're gonna put your leg back, this back toe, make sure it's right straight ahead. A lot of people that lack ankle dorsiflexion will tend to turn their toe out. Don't do that, make sure your toe is right straight ahead. And you're gonna lean forward until you feel a pull in the back of the calf. So you're gonna feel a pull in this area. If your toe is straight ahead and you're feeling a pull in the back of the calf, you know you're doing that correctly. So you're gonna hold that for two minutes. If you wanna change the length of soft tissue, it has to be longer holds, not 30 seconds. It's gotta be two minutes of a hold. So doing that on both sides. Another stretch you can do that is kind of a combination soft tissue stretch. So this is gonna be for your soleus muscle, which is underneath the gas rack. And the joints in the ankle is just gonna be a really simple soleus stretch. So now you're gonna put this foot in front Keep the foot flat on the ground, and then you're gonna drive your knee forward, okay? If you have a wall or something in front of you, you can kind of shoot to kind of push that knee forward. And this is gonna feel different than your gastroc stretch. You're gonna feel either some pull in the back, some pressure in the front, or maybe a little bit of both. If you feel more pressure in the front, it means the joints in the front of the ankle need to be mobilized. If you feel more pull in the back, it means the joints in the front of the ankle are moving okay. It's just that your soleus needs to be stretched. So looking at different angles of this stretch is really important. So when you drive forward, you're gonna go right over the front of the knee. Drive forward, go over the inside, like inside that big toe, and then drive to the outside and go over the outside of that fifth toe on the outside. Getting all different angles in there is really important because that will help to mobilize the ankle in the front of that ankle joint. So kind of here, holding for five seconds, getting a couple different of those areas. Again, setting a timer for like two minutes, working on both sides of that is gonna be really important. The last thing we're gonna do to improve your ankle mobility is just a really simple deep squat stretch. So find something, a table, banister, door frame, something that's not gonna run away from you. And what you're gonna do is face the table or whatever you're holding onto, toes straight ahead, knees out when you do this, feet glued to the ground. So those are the three rules. So from here, you're just gonna get down into a deep squat. And you can see that when I do this, the angle between my foot and my shin is less than 90 degrees. If, you have, if you're way back here, you're not, you're not putting any stress on the ankle to try to get it to move more, you've gotta try to get those knees forward without getting this heel to come up. So feet glued to the ground, toes straight ahead, 
knees out towards the outsides of your feet, and you're just gonna hang out down here. So just kind of putting pressure, and again, similar with that soleus stretch or that anterior ankle mobilization move that we did, you're finding different parts of the front of that ankle to mobilize. So just kind of scooting around, if you find a spot where you feel a little bit more pressure, then kind of hang out there for a little bit to make sure that you're mobilizing that tissue and moving back and forth and getting down into this deep squat position will help to mobilize that ankle. All right, so if you liked this content, then there's gonna be um, all sorts of resources in the description below. If you want more content like this, all you gotta do is like and subscribe to our channel. You'll get more um, information about movement challenges and uh, different mobility work and strength work and balance work to help you out. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, keep moving.